What's up fellow gamers? So Metroid HD received yet another update based on some community feedback and we're going to cover some of the highlights for version 2.1. Now, there were a lot of comments from the last revision, ranging from individuals that felt the mere existence of the pack was an act of retro gaming blasphemy, <laughs> to users who were left wanting more. more. So, for individuals that fit into the latter category, let's jump right into it. Update number one. There didn't seem to be a lot of love for the HUD in version 2.0 based on the sentiment of quite a few folks in the comments section. Well, in response to said feedback, quite a few audience members were kind enough to participate in a poll on this. The general statement of participants was fairly resounding. So as of Rev Level 2.1, a new default HUD has been implemented. Impressive. Very nice. And good news if you aren't a fan of the community pick, you can mix and match versions of the HUD by grabbing assets located here in the alternate art and music folder. To implement in the game, all you need to do is drag over the files to the main pack, and you should be good to go. Now, since the energy numbers are shared with other areas of the game, the process did require properly segregating graphics through the implementation of brand new coding here. I'm gonna understand any of that. Not boom. I just wanted you to know how hard it was. Update number two. Another common observation was that the game was slow looking. Part of this is because the native game is a bit slow, and this pack is merely a reskin. Despite this, through the miracle of ROM hacking, the bundled IPS file now speeds up horizontal speeds. For any purists out there that prefer to keep the physics of the original Metroid, you can still change the horizontal speeds back to default by dragging the files in the alternate art and music folder here into the main pack. Update number three. Some purists also didn't seem to like the addition of one of the extra rooms in Brinstar in the default pack. As a result, the alternate art and music folder now has an option to remove the extra room for a more vanilla Metroid layout if that's what you prefer. Once again, all you need to do is drag the files from the folder here into the main pack. Once files are dragged over, any trace of that extra room will be vaporized into oblivion. Update number four. A bunch of bug fixes were implemented. One of the more major bugs that has been fixed is a strange pallet bug that would happen if you destroyed a block here and crossed into the room before the vanilla game had a chance to update the pallet. Update number 5. A few people in the comments section didn't like the idea of a map edition for the pause screen. For anyone in the same boat, there is now an option in the alternate art and music folder to have the map removed. As with all alternate graphics, simply copy over the assets into the main pack as shown here. Update number 6. Lastly, a few more sound effects and art variants are now available in the alternate art and music folder. One of which is the classic green hair, pink suit Samus combo here. As you'd probably expect, you can drag the files from the alternate art and music folder. The green hair Samus shows up if you get the armorless ending without the various suit. And that's it for most of the noteworthy changes. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy gaming.